going on? The Senpai Daily here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have Game Over underscore 47, Japanese monster movie combo, G 2 and G5 in one with 800 kilogram bombs. I'm excited for the Chi Re 2, not so much the G5 in one. I'll be surprised if we're able to get a kill with this thing today because without the yellow sights and only having the bomb sights, it's going to be really hard. Uh, to locate a target, but we could objective bomb. Pretty much what that means is that if we see an objective being capped by an enemy, we'll just roll over there and hit the space bar and hopefully get a kill. Uh, this bomb load really isn't, I mean, this is pretty good, but I'd rather have lower, um, maybe like 500 kilogram bombs, maybe like eight of those. That would be nice, but that's not an option for the bomb load here. So you have to be very accurate with these 800 kilogram bombs that they do have a good splash damage of 16 meters is the kill radius. Uh, with 134 millimeters of penetration and 390 kilograms of explosive mass. So I'll try to get some good gameplay with the G5M1, but this is what I'm excited about to use today. The Chi Re 2, the only tank autoloader in the game. Someone's in the comments, oh, there's other tanks with entire auto tank damage 30 millimeters. You are right, there's our autoloading, you know, thing. But so this is a medium tank, as you see. So the only medium tank, 75 millimeter auto loader in the game. So how the Chi Re works in War Thunder is that you have three rounds, air quotes, in the chamber or in the magazine. So you fire one, you reload really quickly, you fire two, reload really quickly, and then you fire three, and then that's it. You have about maybe a 30 second reload rate after that. And I think that's a balancing thing because this thing, I believe, had a much faster uh, reload rate. Um, you could probably reload the auto loader while it was auto loading the gun, so it, would, it wouldn't stop firing until the ammo's gone. But it's a video game. Point is, is that we have to be careful on how we play. Uh, after three shots, we'll be out of the action like a KV-2. So we can push confidently with three rounds, but once we're down to one, I think I'm gonna be playing more defensive and getting into a good defensive area uh, so we can reload and keep pushing on. But guys, in the comments below, let me know what combo next you wanna see. There's a lot of Japanese tanks that we haven't taken out. There's a lot of other tanks that we haven't taken out recently. You know, like uh, this one. Oh my gosh, she's so, this is my favorite tank in War Thunder. It's fucking destructive. Most, the powerfulest 85 millimeter in the game. But uh -huh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, thank you, War Thunder. Nice and historical here. We have the Chiri on jungle. This is going to be fun if I can get to my good location. Now, we're not going to take any high explosive. We're just going to... For science, for science. Usually my first... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 okay. Did I take the right ammo? Did I take the right ammo? Please, please, please. Okay, good. Um, I forgot to mention that we also have a 37 millimeter on board that doesn't traverse. It only elevates into press. So, kind of useless, but uh, we might be able to use it this game. Now, one thing that I didn't mention in the intro is that we have okay depression in this thing. We have about negative 10, which is... Decently competitive. It's not out of the ordinary, but it does make a tank more versatile on the battlefield. Now, hopefully, there's some T30. Who are we reversing? Oh, we're reversing the whole nine yards here. We got a T34 right there. We got two T34s. I'm going to cross this as fast as possible. Got to watch far left. You want to do this, dude? I'll, I'll blast you. So we got one tank down low. This is very dangerous. But I I don't see one. Ooh, shit. That was from far. Need to get into a better position here. Okay, so we have three tanks right here. The Churchill's making a move. I'm going to follow him. Over. Ooh, we got a far range guy. That's kind of hittable. What? Wow! Wow! That is impossible to do with a medium tank in War Thunder. Enemy tank right? It looks like a... I don't know what it is, but he just... What was this? What was this and where was it from? 
What was this and where was it from? Oh my gosh, gun! Rotate the fucking right way! Wow. I'm learning the hard way today about the Chiri not being that mobile. Okay, so three tanks down. We got two rounds in the chamber. This has been a very derpy game. A very derpy game indeed. Let's check this score. Still, oh. Yo, who is this? I don't understand. I don't understand why. Okay, just, just be patient here. Wow, you, why, why are you not shooting my turret? What the fuck? This is the, this is the derpiest game I've ever been in. Wow. Oh my God, derpiest game ever. Derpiest game ever. We're gonna reload that round, get behind some more cover here. Yeah, okay. What is going on here? What? I, I have to be dead by now. This is beyond ridiculous. Okay, I see that T-34. He's got artillery on me. We're gonna save that last round for the kill shot. I actually might move up and see if I can't get him from the left side. Because he be, he's going to be repairing for a little bit here. This is the derpiest get. Wait, he just fucking drowned there, didn't he? Okay, the, yep, this is going down as my derpiest game of the year so far. That's five kills. We killed him by drowning. <laughs> Welcome to Hurtgen Force. Um, I'm still in a little bit of shock from last game's potato match. I don't know how we pulled that off, and I don't know why we didn't die. Uh, that was a game in a blue moon where you can play like a potato and still pull out four kills. But uh, we, we learned something that we'll use in this battle is that uh, we, we don't ammo rack at all in the Chiri 2. We don't. Not at all. How are they already at sea? Holy shit. Okay, reversing the Americans and everything else. We're gonna take a position up here to the right and defend any more pushing from them. We probably have Hellcats, Cromwells, and then the heavy hitters, the T-34s. Let's just sit right here. Oh, it looks like an anti-air truck. Pushing up slowly to see. Going to see if I can't find that anti-air truck in here. Left is looking okay. Okay. Our cap. Okay, done. That was easy. Okay, I think I see the anti-air. Seems to be like a 40 millimeter. Like M19 or something. I don't see him here, though. We'll just angle here. Okay, one down. Unfortunately, that took two of our rounds out. 
But we're going to keep pushing up with the Tiger here. We still have one more lethal round. But we'll have to uh, push back or pull back once that round's out. Ooh, someone took a shot. Got him. Right for the core. Ooh, unfortunate. Not enough destruction. Now, I might be able to get away. Let's see if we can't get that other gun up. No. No. It won't go up or down. There's a good hit. Yeah, it came in. To, it actually helped me a little bit. There we go. 37 millimeter kill right there. Ooh, I see a SU-85. Yeah, don't worry. I got you, Tiger. Got his. Oh. Well, I, I got his engine, but I got quickly killed by T-34-85. Holy shit. Well, we can ammo rack, unfortunately. God damn it, wish I looked to my right. But now we can have a chance. Oh my gosh. Ooh, we killed that SU-85. So we got, what, three kills? Not bad. We're in the cockpit of the G5N1. Oh my gosh. Yes, this was definitely a passenger liner. Now let's open the bomb bay doors. They're capturing C. And this is the only way that we can look out here with this bomb bay. Now what key binding is this? Is it F7? Okay, gotcha. Okay, so we'll stay in the cockpit, and we'll use F7 to... I'm going to drop all four bombs in the middle of the uh, map. Because there's no way I... There, there's no way I can precisely drop one bomb unless we spot them far out. But we're going to try to carpet bomb, well, with only four bombs right now. And then if it doesn't work, then maybe we'll try to do more precise bombing. Okay, they've captured C. Going into bomb bay view. Oh my gosh. I mean, sure, just, I don't know, just drop. Yeah, see, it's... <laughs> Ew, that tank's gonna be so long gone. Look at him, he's like, all right, see you later, bombs. We gotta get a lot lower with this thing. I mean, see, taking out the bomb reticle sure balanced the game, but it just made big bombers and tank RB absolutely worthless because, in all honesty, big bombers were not supposed to go out, go get tanks. They were supposed to go get stationary tank factories and stop the production of tanks. All right, we're going to start our slow left-hand turn here. Okay, we're now starting to turn. Oh, wow, she turns like a fucking zero once locked in. Okay, here we go again. We got ant we're gonna try to bomb some anti-air, I think. F7. One away, two away. We have a 16 meter hit distance, so those should kill him. Come on, get him down. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna kill my friendly almost. Oh, there's one. There's two! Oh shit, we're good! All right, going back to land, wow! I've never done that before in the bomb view. That, oh shit, we might have a fighter on our six, or just an anti-air. All right, guys. Looking good, looking good. I'm happy about that. And then now the roller coaster ride of emotion is level now, because we have to fly all the way back to base in this big ass bomber. But let's, let's get back in the cockpit. I'm gonna try to land this thing in cockpit view. Ooh, there's a PE2 up. Let's see if he's near me at all. Ooh, no, there he is. Okay, engaging. What the fuck is that other gun doing? <laughs> what the? Why even fire, dude? Why? Why? Why even try to fire? Uh, he. Oh shit, we're high. Okay, gear out, flaps. Ooh, asymmetrical flap damage, or extension here. Okay, this would be a good landing, I'm, I'm pretty sure. We need to lose a lot of altitude. There we go, looking good. Oh, look at those big ass flaps. Yeah, we're gonna slow down like a beast here. Yeah, in, in the cockpit view for landing. Okay, retract the flaps a little bit, increase some power.
Okay, flaps deployed. And I don't know when this thing's gonna touch down naturally. If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. Starting our starting our flare here. Hundred and fifty. Oh my gosh, this thing's gonna fucking drop out. Oh wow! Perfect landing. Okay. Flaps retract it, and we're on the ground. Oh shit! Forward, forward, nose forward, nose forward. Oh, okay, there we go. As you can see, we have a little... It looks like a small tail wheel or a skid. Maybe this thing was prone to tail striking, so they just gave a little bit of help there. Okay, reloading. Ready to go up again in 19 seconds. All right, engines on. We got a lot of work to do here. Full power. Silent engines. There we go. Okay, we're gonna rotate at about 160. And so they just captured C or A, I believe. So we're gonna head over there first. Okay, rotating. Up we go. I think we're off the ground, gears up. Got an enemy plane up. Don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead over towards um, A first, check it out. We're going to full web here because I don't know how much longer this game is going to last. Our team got pretty devastated. Well, especially these guys down here, but we were doing good earlier, but they were able to push back. Come on, hurry up. Get in there. We got to start spotting targets right now. Okay, they're capturing A. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. They're going to be uh, they're, they're, they're going to be gone by the time we get there. Come on. One more kill with this thing. Pitch down. Speed. Bombay open. No, get there. We're dropping all four on eight. Hopefully there's like nine tanks there, but I don't I don't see any. I only see like one. Okay, easy, easy. That's enough speed. I don't see anybody here. <laughs> Where is everybody? Okay, ghost capture. We're just gonna drop a bomb in there. Pulling off here. Turn to the right. No! Eat that bomb! Eat those bombs! That's way- Oh, actually those are- The last- The first one was right on his fucking head. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this derpy episode of War Thunder with the Chiri 2 and the G5N1. I don't know how we made it through that first game, and I'm surprised that we were able to get a, a double kill in the G5N1. Thank gosh those anti-airs not moving at all and staying stubborn and uh, thinking I missed it. But they forgot that their open top in an 800 kilogram bomb has a pretty big uh, kill radius. But guys, in the comments below, let's get that vote on. What combo next? Guys, have a great day. Until next time, peace out.